Power Wash Salisbury, Maryland. Um, working on a Honda GX690. Obviously, it's uh, it's a little wet and rainy out here. Um, so GX690 was not starting, and we'll go ahead and just so you can kind of replicate the issue here. Go ahead and pull that 30 amp fuse out. Um, and we'll actually go grab a bunch of them tomorrow. But anyway, so what's happening? It makes that click noise, which means the actual throttle thing is opening. So we're good there. I checked to make sure. So we, this hose reel is on the same battery. That one is too. That one's actually locked. This one's not locked. It should have been. Um, we made sure we had gas. But I mean, the big thing, guys, when you flip this right here, it should show your hours. Um, it should immediately get that. And then when we're like that, nothing. So again, you start off making sure you've got power. Okay, so we got power to it. I even took, um, I have battery checker. So we ch checked that on there. Um, that came back plenty. Went ahead and actually tried running jumper cables from the positive and negative terminals to this same spot. We made sure everything was nice and tight. That was fine. Um, again, you got plenty of fuel. So the only thing that it can be then, well, not the only thing, but the big thing that it could be is your actual fuse, the 30 amp fuse that's in here. So, and what we'll do is we'll end up, we'll leave this out. We're not gonna put the, the thing back on it tomorrow, but just in case. So I pulled the 30 amp fuse, um, and let's see if we can really see the difference here. It's gonna be hard to see, but you can kind of see there, yeah. Now the, the crazy thing is that shadow wise, it looked like it still had it all there, but you can see that's, that's burnt. So a little 30 amp fuse stopped us from making money today. Um, I pulled a 30 amp fuse from the box truck because right now this thing ain't in use. Uh, we'll put the 30 amp fuse back into it and um, I'll show you guys a couple other things that were, you, can, you already heard that, right? As soon as I, so we're good to go. That's all it was, was that 30 amp fuse. Now, how do you get that out? Um, a couple things, this little screw it's a special six by eight millimeter screw. Very, very tiny. Um, quite frankly, I think I stripped that a bit. Um, I had to actually get and basically force into that thing to, to get it torqued just that little bit to come loose. Um, we'll put it back on just really loosely. Um, I inadvertently, not inadvertently, I, I mistakenly took this piece off, which shouldn't have been off. Um, but on the back here, and let's see if we can find the little case here. Give me one second. All right, so now all this, guys, uh, now we're back, is in your, you know, your Honda manual. Here's the actual case and cover that goes over it. So, show you that. Uh, let's see if we can get good enough view. All right, so this is actually what holds the harness on the outside. That's where that special screw goes. Um, this actually has a top piece that covers it up. And, well, got to figure out where I put that. But anyways, the little cover goes on there that protects it. We'll put that back in. These two pieces, that had to come off. This actually is what hooks onto the outside of there. Oh, running out of charge on this, that's fine. Um, so we'll just move this flashlight over here. But um, again, all you have to do is literally you unplug these two, take it off. Of here because it's kind of in the way um, certainly make sure that your uh, positive terminal cover is on there because otherwise when you put your screwdriver through here it will absolutely arc uh, and that's not fun you don't want that to happen so we'll put the cover back on here um, if if you're you know we'll make it through today or through tomorrow see how it is if that's great we'll go ahead and put it back we'll use this just as a video for my guys if we run into any issues uh, but again, beautiful noise. It's got 113.9 hours. Kind of weird that it tripped or burned that fuse out. So um, I wasn't there. The other big clue on this, guys, and where to kind of start from this. The machine stopped dead when they were working. Which would indicate a fuse or running out of gas or some, some sort of wiring that is no longer allowing stuff to work properly. Um, as soon as there's no power here, we're going to go back and say, okay, well check your wires, check, you know, 
everything else. Make sure it's loose. Make sure your battery is good or not loose. Sorry. Um, and then this 30 amp fuse would be the next thing to check. So we'll probably just leave that down here. Again, just have to find there's a white cap that goes on top of this. Um, and that's pretty much it. This was also tucked in here nice and neat. Um, so anyway, guys, I hope that helps. I didn't really see a whole lot of uh, videos on replacing the fuse. I know there's been lots of stuff in the different groups about it, but so decided that we need to go ahead and make this video. So have a great day.